it got real aggressive in there behind this. People was pushed, shoved, was clinched. Because she ain't worth 30000 for a hosting. See, I want to clear something up too, right? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Celebrity Media Gossip. And today, we're going to be talking about Glorilla and a promoter that tried to finesse her for a performance for $30,000. So before we get into this video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe with post notifications turned on. Now, if y'all remember, Glorilla had a show in Oakland, California, where they threw bottles and liquor on her as she tried to exit the club. And not only did they throw bottles and liquor at her, I just now found out that they pulled straps on her also. So they pulled the straps on her and her crew as they tried to leave the club. Now the promoter just took to live to explain the whole situation on what really went down. So before we get to those clips, do me a favor, make sure you smash that like button. Smash that like button if y'all want me to keep dropping updates and heat. So with that being said, let's get to these clips and then we are gonna come back with our commentary. Let's go. CMG representative on stage. Why? Because Logic, in her head, she got $20,000 to host the party, not perform. Come on now, stop playing with me. I ain't never paid an artist to come stand in the club. Now come stand. Did Trina come stand? Did Little Kim come stand? Did Keith Sweat come stand? Did Molly Brazy come stand? Did Rocky Bad come stand? Let's go local. Did Lil Kayla come stand? Come on now, stop playing. Stop playing. Come on, man. Stop playing. I'm just, hey, look, look, look. I'm just frustrated because cause she ain't worth 30000 for a hosting. See, I want to clear something up too, right? Do I feel that way? It, do I feel that way or is it that way? I mean, it's, it's not about do I feel we was played with our money. It, it wasn't the manager, it was the label. It was her label. It was her label. Do I do I feel played? Or was we played? It's, you know what I mean? Her, 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 it's the people around her. It's the people around her. It's not her, I hope not. But I could just imagine coming up that fast Coming up that fast, coming up that fast in the game, and um, having all these vultures around you. She got a lot of vultures around her, and um, everybody wants to eat off her name. Yeah, it's not her. So that's why I was upset. I was upset when people threw stuff at her because it's not her. Now that's exactly what I was saying in the beginning. I don't believe that it was Glorilla. I don't believe it was her decision. I'm pretty sure she's not sitting at a computer getting information on her bookings. I'm pretty sure it's a management. I'm pretty sure it's the label. I'm pretty sure it's the team around her. All Glorilla doing is showing up to her shows, showing up to her hosting, showing up to whatever they tell her to show up to because that's her job. So I'm pretty sure this whole situation is a big misunderstanding. But let's continue. It's not her. And when she left, she only left she was she was leaving because it got real aggressive in there behind this. People was pushed, shoved, guns was clinched. Did Dame do bad business? That's a yes. He did bad business. The boy Dame did bad business. He should have kept it 100 with us. Now, had Dame had Dame kept it 100 with us, we would have been able to make a better decision whether we wanted to go through with the event or not. So if Dane would have told us this is 30000 for her to host, we would have said, no, thank you. You play with our money at that point. At that point, you playing with our money. Because had I knew that you was telling her it was to host the party, I would have never did it. I would have never did it. I never did it. So 30000 for for um, a hosting in two to three songs is very typical. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all, right? 30,000 for an artist to come and do two to three songs is reasonable and typical in this industry. You know what I mean? Some artists will come and do six or seven if the crowd f with them. I don't, I don't, I'm, listen, I've never, me personally, bought an artist. 
that wasn't there to perform. Now, I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with y'all. $30,000, she could have performed at least one or two songs and then left. Because at the end of the day, $30,000 for just the hosting? Nah, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. We not paying that. I'm not a promoter, but if I was a promoter, we not paying $30,000 just for you to come to the club and stand around. You got to at least perform one or two songs. So I get where this promoter's coming from. Also, I get that he's saying her management did bad business. Her management did not tell her what was the details. Maybe the details was, you're going to come host the club, but we still need you to perform two to three songs. And that would have been his money's worth. But well, let's continue. And then we're going to come back with our commentary. Let's go. I never thought this would be on. I never thought shade room, though. I did eight years not making the shade room. I ain't made the shade room. I've been doing this eight years. <laughs> I don't want Oakland to feel that way, though. It's not her. Like, nobody should be like, oh, it's not her. It's not her. It's her people. It's her management. It's the people around her. It's the people around her. It's the people around her. And if I wanted, if I wanted any cloud off of this, I would have went the TMZ route. I would have, I would have TMZ reached out. I would have talked to TMZ. You know what I mean? Hey, I don't care about the cloud. We gonna make it right though. We gonna make it right. And if that means we gotta sue the label, then we'll sue the label. You know what I mean? If that's if that's what we gotta do. That's what we gotta do. Be honest with y'all, man. It's a lot of, and then it's a lot of, you know what it is too. People trying to save people relationships. People trying to save relationships. People want to save relationships, and I'm not even into none of that, man. I'm not into the clout. I told myself, I told myself that after March, I was gonna start doing shows. I think it was March, April. I told myself I was gonna stop doing shows in Oakland. Because of the politics. It's too much politics. It's too much. It's too much. I think I'm a. I think I'm a. Um, I think I'm a. Start that now. So now that y'all seen that and heard that, stroll down to that comment section. Tell me what y'all think about this crazy situation. I'ma keep it all the way a honey with y'all. If I was that promoter, I would take them for all they got. I'm not suing you for 30 bands. I'm suing you for a mil, maybe two mil at that. Knowing that I might not get that two mil, but I'ma get somewhere in between. And it would be just to prove a point. Don't play with my name. Cause I'm pretty sure now everybody looking at these promoters sideways. I'm suing for defamation. I'm suing for damages. I'm even suing for emotional distress, whatever you want to call it. But it is what it is, man. Let me know what y'all think down below in that comment section. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe with post notifications turned on.